If you like crafting with vintage materials, I'm going to share with you five things to never leave behind when you're out at the flea market. Hi everyone and welcome. I love shopping for vintage materials. I love crafting with vintage materials. It's just definitely my vibe. So if that's what you're into too, you've come to the right place. So what we're going to do today is I wanted to share with you five things to I do not leave behind at the flea market when I'm junking or thrifting or wherever I'm at. So I crafted a project using those found objects that we're going to talk about today. Okay, so this isn't a tutorial for these little guys, but um, there is a tutorial on how to make these in another video. The link is below. So when you're finished over here, be sure to, to um, go visit that. And um, it'll, it'll be a different doll, different materials, because when you're crafting with vintage, everything is unique. It's just one of a kind pieces. And that even makes it more special. So let's get to it. A uh, little disclaimer here. I say there's five things I never leave behind. Well, there's a lot more than five things that I don't leave behind, but we don't have time for that today. So um, let's just talk about the five things. Okay, so the first thing, let me go ahead and move these guys, is greeting cards, old greeting cards. Now, some of these are are worth a lot of money. Some people collect them. They're very special. These in particular, they're yellow. The corners are bent. Um, obviously, they've been torn out of scrapbooks. So I think they are fair game for crafting. A friend of mine just sent me these, these wonderful little um, labels, um, gift tags. I'm going to use them in the um, tutorial for um, when I do this little doll. So anyway, the thing the thing about the old greeting cards is not only is the paper fantastic, the graphics, um, but they have a lot of a lot of nice little words inside of them too that you can just cut out. Loads of good wishes with all my heart. Just cut those out and use them on a project. This one here, and all your dreams come true, came out of an old card, and I just glued it to a piece of velvet. So old greeting cards, yeah, you want to take them home. They're great to have on hand. Uh, my next thing I never leave behind is dolls, obviously, since we're kind of doing a little doll project today. I have a lot of dolls, like a giant tub full of these old dolls. Uh, she's really seen better days. She's kind of lost her mojo a little bit, but uh, she's actually the doll I'm using in the tutorial to make one of these. So you'll have to pop over there and see her transformation because she's absolutely adorable. So never leave behind a wonderful old doll. Number three, and I like to lump, th lump this together a little bit. Uh, kind of all goes together. So, old lace, doilies, um, hankies, old tablecloths, ribbon. Um, look at this hat, you guys. This is, um, a collector wouldn't want this, but look at the beautiful flowers and millinery on this hat. Um, this right here, this was an old wedding veil from the 1920s. It was folded up in a box for $2. And sure, it's got holes and everything in it, but look at the color, and it feels so good. And I actually used it in this project. Right here, it's just running along the bottom. It's just so pretty. So um, also, I used an old hanky, a corner of a hanky for her dress, a little tool, a little trim, a little bow. She's got an old flower in her hair. So this stuff is really... Um, the icing on the cake. So whenever you see it, just just grab it. It's so good to have on hand. Okay, so fourth thing I would never leave behind, and trust me, I am a vintage jewelry junkie. Um, some of these pieces are just so pretty, I'm like, ah, oh, I don't even want to use them. I just kind of want to hoard them. They're just so pretty. Um, I have things for Valentine's Day, cameos. I got Christmas going on over here. Now, I started out just picking up a piece or two and I've got drawers of this now so just so you guys know when if if you're getting started at this don't get discouraged you know pick it up little by little and all of you out there that are seasoned junkers and thrifters know there's a lot of days out there that you just don't get anything and then there's days where you can't even carry it all because you've scored so you know just keep going and uh, don't give up it's really worth it it's Look at these right here. These are um, 
these are those earrings, those little clip-on earrings. I love these. You just take the little clip off. No matter what you glue them on, they're just adorable. I've gotten these before for as little as 10 cents for a pair of these. So they're some of my favorite things too. So the fifth thing is old paper. Now I didn't drag all of my old paper out, so I just brought out a couple of things. This is a piece of old sheet music. This paper is the perfect color. It has the perfect feel. Rubber stamps love it. In this project right here, you can see I use my rubber stamps, vintage home, tore the paper and put it on for an extra layer and it's absolutely beautiful. So love the old sheet music. This is an old journal I picked up for probably a dollar. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this amazing? Look at this paper in here. I love this. I do a lot of junk journaling. I use a lot of old paper for things. Stamp on it. Um, punch it out. It, you, can, you can do so many things with the old paper. So those are the five things. And if you guys are out and about, please rescue them. Don't leave them behind. But you'll be so happy that you have them for crafting. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you found something of value today. And um, check the link below for um, the links below my Etsy shop. And um, also for the transformation of this little girl. You want to see that. And um, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. So happy junking and happy crafting.